Uh, so we have LabQuest 2. Uh, okay. It has maximum sampling rate of 100,000 per second. Uh, it has remote data collection built in. It has a full color screen that you can actually tilt to landscape and portrait mode. And it re reacts anyway. Um, it also has built in sensors that I can actually show you. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Let me see. My orientation's up. Yes. So, in our main menu, we have the LabQuest app. We have a built in periodic table. So, you can actually scroll in on anything. Look at something. But that was the same with their LabQuest one. Um, something else that's different. What else do I want to show you? We have built in sensors. We have a three axis accelerometer, GPS, temperature, microphone, light sensor already built in. And then you can also plug other sensors. It has uh, three channels for analog, two for digital. So you can use things like photo gates, motion detectors with it. And I assume you can be recording with those simultaneously. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So let me sensor in, automatically reads the force. So, you can go to my graphing option. And so what is this one reading? This is a force of a grip. So right now I'm testing finger strength between, that's my index, my middle, my ring, and my pinky. And when I stop it, it automatically adjusts. But um, you can perform any analysis on it. You have your statistics, curve fit, the model. You can even have students uh, draw a prediction before they start saying, oh, oh, I think my pinky is actually the strongest finger. Stuff like that. Um, you can actually select certain points that you want or just see one point at a time. You can save multiple runs. Uh, you have your table so students can actually see the data. You can also open instructions on it from all our curriculum or even load your own. So, let's see, water quality. Salt oxygen. It gives you lab instructions for all of that. Students have access and they can even take notes and send that. The cool part about this that I can't show you because unfortunately I don't have access to wireless down here because we're in the basement. But um, it can send information so students can gather around one lab quest to use their Android Galaxies. They can use iPods, iPhones. They can use Kindle Fire, anything with a browser, and actually send them the data, or send themselves the data. Is it sending via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth? or Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Yep, so it's Wi-Fi connected. It can also send to an iPad and use our graphical analysis app, which is out in April. Um, and it can also email. You can email the teacher. You can email yourself. All the data that you need so you can do analysis at home. Very cool. So that's brand new. Fantastic. All right, thanks for showing it to me. Of course.